Hi. In this video, we'll show you how you can use Burp to test for SQL injection vulnerabilities. SQL injection vulnerabilities occur when an attacker can interfere with the queries that an application makes to its database. You can use Burp Scanner to automatically flag potential vulnerabilities, or use Burp Intruder to insert a list of SQL fuzz strings into a request. This may enable you to change the way SQL commands are executed. If you'd like to follow along, you can use the lab SQL Injection Vulnerability in WHERE clause allowing retrieval of hidden data. First, we'll look at using Burp Scanner. Once the lab has launched, identify a request you want to investigate. Here, from the Proxy HTTP History tab, we can right-click the request and select Do Active Scan. We can then go to the dashboard and review the Issue Activity panel or click on View Detail for the specific scan task and identify any SQL injection vulnerabilities Burp Scanner has flagged. Alternatively, you can use Burp Intruder to test for SQL injection vulnerabilities. This process also allows you to closely investigate any issues identified by Burp Scanner. Identify the request you want to investigate. In the request, highlight the parameter you want to test, right click, and choose Send to Intruder. Go to the Intruder Positions tab. The parameter you highlighted will have been automatically marked as a payload position. Go to the Payloads tab. Under Payload Settings, you can add a list of fuzz strings. If you're using Burp Suite Professional, you have the option of using the built-in Fuzzing SQL word list. If you're using Community, you will need to manually add your own list. Under Payload Processing, click Add to configure appropriate values for the placeholders if you're using the built-in list. To replace the base placeholder, select Replace Placeholder Base Value. To replace other placeholders, select Match Replace and specify the details you want to change. For example, replace domain with the domain name of the site you're testing. Click Start Attack. Once the attack has finished, study the responses for interesting behaviour, such as responses that include additional data as a result of the query, or responses that include other differences due to the query, such as a welcome back message or an error message, or responses that had a time delay due to the query. If you're using the lab, look for responses with a longer length. These may include additional products. 